One of the questions I'm constantly asked as a behavior analyst and parenting specialist is how do I avoid bad behavior in kids? Avoiding bad behavior in kids is a clear and simple request, but the answer can be as complicated as the day is long. So rather than bore you with a dissertation, I'm gonna share with you my top five most important factors to avoid bad behavior in kids. Hi, I'm Robert Schramm, a behavior analyst, education specialist, author, and dad. And I'm also the developer of the seven steps to instructional motivation. Each week, I provide with you helpful information based on the Just Seven Steps approach. So if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, take just a second and do it right now. You'll be super glad that you did. Your kids are bound to make mistakes. This is just part of growing up. But there's a big difference between making a mistake and choosing to use what a parent might consider bad behavior. If your goal is to be able to avoid as much of this bad behavior in your kids as possible, you will need to follow a few simple but basic rules. I follow these rules as part of the seven steps to instructional motivation that I teach parents and professionals around the globe, as well as use in my own home with my two daughters, Zoe and Lainey. So here you go, my top five rules for avoiding bad behavior in your kids. Number one, have the ability to control access to your child's most important things. That doesn't mean deprive them of anything, but set up your environment so that you can control when or how much of these things that they can have. If you can control access to it, you can use it as a reason why they would more regularly choose better behavior. It won't stop honest mistakes, but it puts you in the position you need to be in to be able to affect their choice of using bad behavior. Number two, prove to your kids that you are more fun and offer more value than you do work. Try not to let yourself be seen as a punisher or someone who only takes things away and takes their good behavior for granted. Work three positive comments into any conversation where you're going to have to correct or critique them. And number three, don't give your kids instructions that you know they are likely not to want to follow. This means break down your instructions into smaller, more manageable chunks. And whenever possible, wait for moments of motivation where your child wants something from you before you give them your instruction. This will make sure they have the highest amount of motivation before you ask something of them. The better you do rule number one and are in control of their most important things, the more they will come to you with requests that would then motivate your instructions. Number four, give lots of attention to the positive behavior you see. Show them that you are more interested in and more affected emotionally by their positive behavior choices than their bad ones. The more attention and access to their favorite things you can give them after good choices, and the less likely you are to give them attention for negative behavior, the more they will wanna use those positive choices for you and for themselves. And number five, the final short helpful rule for getting your kids to stop using bad behavior is, don't offer too much additional reinforcement for the bad behavior when you see it. Correct bad behavior as you need to, but don't get emotional and angry. Don't yell and show them that it affects you just carefully and calmly start to reduce the types of access they have to their most important things. The ones that you took control of in rule number one. Again, this is just a short video blog with a quick answer to what can be a very complicated question. But if your goal is to start being able to avoid bad behavior in your kids, starting to focus on these five rules will give you the jumping off point that you need. To really learn more about avoiding bad behavior in kids, sign up for my free workshop at just sevensteps.com forward slash workshop. It's called how to get your kids to listen without raising your voice or nagging. So again, if your immediate worry is avoiding bad behavior in your kids, the best place to start is to begin following these five rules of interaction. One, have the ability to control access to your child's most important things. Two, 
Prove to your child that you are more fun and offer more value than you do work. Three, don't give your kids instructions that you know they're not likely to want to follow. Number four, give lots of attention to the positive behavior you see. And five, don't offer too much additional reinforcement for bad behavior when you see it. Correct it as you need to, but don't get emotional and angry. Don't yell and show them that it affects you. And for more in-depth information to help you improve your relationships with your children and start to avoid bad behavior in your kids, check out my free online workshop, schedule it when you want, and learn from 53 minutes of free guidance from a behavior and parenting specialist with over 20 years of experience in the field. If you like this video blog, I would love it if you would leave me a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up, share the video with others who might also benefit from the information, and subscribe to the channel for more quick and helpful videos. I'll see you right here next week. Don't forget to subscribe.